I think it was a, a great win for us. Just a hard, hard fought game. Detroit's a very good team and they, uh, you know, they're well coached and they don't ever quit. I mean, every time it looked like we were getting ready to, to open it up, they would just keep coming and keep coming and, and, and fight and scrap and get back into the game. And that's how they've been playing all season. That's why they, you know, they were, what are they, five and two? They were five and one before the game. Uh, but that's a very good team over there. Luke, uh, Draymond has 50 assists after eight games, which leads the team. Is there something different in his passing ability? Or are guys just knocking down the shots that he's getting them open for? Um, no, he's, he's, he was a great passer last year. Uh, you know, it probably has something to do with the fact that our guy, we've been shooting the ball well pretty much all season. And he, you know, he, he's getting really good at, you know, when teams want to double Steph, becoming the primary playmaker for us. And, and we trust his opinions, whether he's going to shoot it or, or pass it or what. Um, but he's, he's playing unselfish basketball and uh, getting a lot of people involved, and we love that. Uh, Luke, you guys ended up hitting 12 three-pointers, uh, but would you say that Detroit maybe defended you guys as well outside on the perimeter as maybe anybody so far? They were, yeah. They, they, I mean, it's obviously I, I have to watch the tape, but they were, they were in us. They were playing phenomenal defense out there. I feel like most games uh, we get more open looks than that. Um, so, yeah, you got to give them a lot of credit for the, the way they defended us. Luke, what did you see from uh, the stretch that Leandro had in the fourth quarter really help you guys pull away? Yeah, our second, our second unit uh, in that beginning of the fourth was, uh, was huge for us. Uh, we were getting ready to start getting the starters back in the game, and then they, they picked it up on defense and, and let that lead to some offense and uh, got the crowd involved, got us a nice, uh, a, a nice big lead there, and we were able to give our starters a couple extra minutes on the bench, and Barbosa was a huge part of that. We, we saw that a lot last year with the second unit. That's been so good this year that you haven't needed it as much. But was that a, did you need that out of them tonight um, to have a game like that? Well, I don't think we needed it, but it's always, it's, you know, it's one of the great things about our team is, you know, our second unit is we feel the best in the NBA, and we got a, we got great chemistry. We got uh, veterans on that second unit that know how to win, and uh, you know when you know they give us that type of performance, it just makes us that much more dangerous. But you know, they do we need it? No. Is it nice to have? Absolutely. Early in the fourth quarter, what's that like for you as a coach? I mean, do you is that a, a difficult decision game to game against the Clippers? You kept Steph on the bench for a while too. Um, like you said, the second unit played so well that you were, had that luxury. But is that sort of a, a stretch where you have to make some decisions on who yeah. goes in when? In, in the yeah, it's different. In the second quarter, you know, obviously we, we, we're going to roll with our bench pretty much no matter what happens. In the fourth, uh, you know, we, I have all the faith and trust in the world in our second unit. But we also have the MVP of the league sitting there on the bench. So it can get challenging at times, depending on how the flow of the game is going. But I like to give, uh, I like to give them as much leeway as I can. I mean, I feel like they've earned that throughout last season and, and you know, so far in this, this short season. Uh, but yeah, that, that, it gets a little tricky around that, that nine minute mark of the fourth quarter. What were your impressions of Bogut in his first game back? He was great, absolutely great. Uh, you know, he he was, you know, huge in defending that that monster they have over there. Um, you know, him and Festus both did a great job. When Mo came in, Mo was active, um, but you know, Bogut's brilliant uh, on the basketball court. His passing, his playmaking, a couple huge rebounds. Uh, he's just such a smart player. It's uh, it's great having him back. Luke, are you guys getting the sense that that Clay's back? He looked like he found a shot tonight. Uh, Clay was, yeah. I mean, we we're not Clay's one guy. We're not that worried about. We know what what he's gonna do. Um, you know, over the stretch of a season, uh, and it it was nice to see, uh, you know, to see him hit shots tonight. But I thought he also did a great job of of not forcing shots. Uh, you know, I feel like earlier in the season he was, you know, he was try to force them every once in a while and take some really tough shots. Tonight, if he was open, he shot it. If not, he moved it on to somebody else, and, and that's when we're at our best. 
do you think that uh, Bogut has an effect on Clay offensively? Probably. I think Bogut has an effect on. Yeah, he's Bogut's one of those players that makes his teammates better for sure. So having him on the floor, people get open looks, and that's uh, you know him and Clay. They played together for a few years now, and they have a nice understanding of each other's game. So I think. The more Bogut plays, the more open shots our guys that are on the floor with him will get. Look, you touched on this earlier, but it looked like Festus was um, primarily concerned with making sure that Drummond didn't dominate the boards. He only got one re- two rebounds at Festus only for, th- for the night, but Drummond didn't have a lot of rebounds until the second half. Was that the goal? Yeah, um, we talked about it before. We, you know, we said, look, if you keep him off the glass, you've done your job. So we need all five guys in there rebounding. We need a body on Drummond. And I thought we did a great job on him. And the, <laughs> the kids still finished with 14 and 15. So, uh, you know, give him a lot of credit. But yeah, Festus was fighting every play, he never took any possessions off. And that's, you know, that's the effort we needed out of him tonight. And you look like uh, Kentavious was giving Steph a little bit of trouble. That's something you don't see very often. What did he do that made it so tough for Steph tonight? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, he's, a, he's a good defender. He's long. He's athletic. Um, you know, I, I have to go back and watch the tape to see if there's anything he did or if, uh, stuff we can call better to get Steph open more or what. But, I'm, you know, Steph still had 22, 5, and 5. So, uh, you know, he still, uh, he still had a, a, a very good game.